Hello and welcome to Short Story Scene. I am your host, the storyteller, and here we have a tale called Inferno by Dante Alighieri. Canto 10. Now Omar goes along our narrow path between the torments of the city wall. My master and I follow at its back. O power of supreme that through these impious circles turnest me. I begin as please thee speak to me and my longing satisfied. The people who are lying in these tombs might they be seen already are uplifted the covers all and no one cometh guard. And he to me and they all will be closed up when the Jerusalem they shall return here with the bodies that they have left above. Their cemetery have upon this side the Euphredicarus, all his followers, and who the body morally make the soul. But in the question thou dost put to me, within here shalt thou soon be satisfied, and likewise in the wish thou keepest silent. And I, good leader, I but kept concealed there thee my heart and I my speak the less nor only now hast thou thereto disposed me O Tuscan thou who through the city of fire goest alive thou speaking modestly be pleased to say thy footsteps in the place thy mode of speaking makes thee manifest a native of the noble fatherland to which perhaps I too lessful was upon the sudden issued forth this sound from one, out one of the tombs wherefore I pressed fearing a little nearer to my leader and unto me he said turn thee what dost thou behold the veronetta who has risen from the waist upwards holy sh shalt thou see him and I already fixed mine eyes on his and he uprose erect with breast in front, even as if hell he had his great despite, and with his courageous hand and prompt my leader, thrust me between the sepulchres towards him, exclaiming, Let thy word explicit me be. As soon as I was at the foot of his tomb, so somewhat he eyed me, and as if disdainful, then he asked, Who were thine ancestors? I who this radius of obeying was concealed it not but i all revealed to him whereat my raise his brows a little upward then said he fiercely advised have they been to me and to my fathers and my party so that two several times i scattered them if they were banished they returned on all sides i answered him the first time in the second, but yours have not acquired that art all right. Then there uprose upon the sight, uncovered down to the chin, a shadow at his side. I think that he had risen on his knees. Round me he gazed as if solicitude he had to see if some one else were with me. But after his suspicion was all spent, weeping, he said to me, If through this blind prison thou goest by loftiness of genius, where is my son, and why is he not with thee? And I to him, I come not for myself. He who is waiting yonder leads me here, whom is disdain perhaps your gudo had. His language and the mode of punishment already unto me had read his name. On that account my answer was so full. Upstaring suddenly he cried out, How sad is thou, he said, Is he not still alive? Does not the sweet light strike upon his eyes? When he became aware of some delay, which I before my answer made, supine he fell again and forth appeared no more. But the other magni of whose desire I had remained did not his aspect change neither his neck he moved nor bent his side and if continuing his first discourse they have that art and he said not learned all right that more cometh me that doth his bed 
but fifty times shall not rekindle be in contentions of the lady who reigns here, ere thou shalt know how heavy it is art, and thou wouldest to the sweetest world return, say why that people is so pitiless and against my race and each one of its laws. Once I and to him the slaughter and the greater carnage which have with crimson stain the Arabia and caused such orisons in our temple to be made. After his head he was I had spoke spoken there I had was not alone and he said nor surely without the cause had with the other moved and there I was alone where every one consented to the lying waste of Florence he who had defended her with open face ah uh, so hereafter may your speed up repose and with ret retreated solve for me that knot which had entangled my conce conceptions here and it seems that you can see if I hear rightly beforehand where so over time begins brings with it and in the present have another mode we see like those who have imperfect sight the things he said the distant distant are from us and so much still shines on us and sovereign ruler when they draw near and or are as wholly vain or intellect and none brings it to us not anything no we are your human state hence thou canst understand the holy dead will be our knowledge from the moment when the portal of the future shall be closed then i as compunctious for his for my fault said now then you will tell the, the fallen one that still his son is with the living join and if just now in answering i was dumb tell him i did it because i was thinking already of an error you have solved me and now my master was recalling me wherefore more eagerly i prayed the spirit that he would tell me who was with him there he said when more than a thousand here i lie and where here is the second frederick and the cardinal and of the rest i speak not thereon he hid himself and towards the ancient poet turned my steps reflecting upon that saying which seemed hostile to me he moved along and afterward thus going he said to me why art thou so bewildered and i in his inquiry satisfied him my memory preserve what thou hast heard against thine self that sage commanded me and now attain me and he raised his finger when thou shalt be before the radiant sweet of her whose beauteous eyes and things behold from her thou know the journey of thine life unto the land left hand he had turned his feet we left the wall and went towards the middle along the path that strikes into the valley whichever up in the unpleasant made this stench and that can concludes inferno by dante alighieri canto 10 and if you like this content and would like to sort support it please head on over to the patreon that is www.patreon.com forward slash short story scene i'd like to thank drag for being the first patreon Thank you for listening and see you next episode. Bye.